Number 10 is a sector question. So for a sector, you have area of sector and the perimeter of sector. So perimeter is including the circumference and two radiuses. Okay, so that would be the perimeter of a sector and the area would be part of its whole circle. So in this case, they gave us area of a sector, so part of a whole circle. So you know that whole circle's area is given by pi r square. And because this is a part of a circle, so to include a theta over 360, so 360 is the total angle in a complete circle, so this is only a part of the circle, which you will actually find the angle for part A. So that's the area of sector formula. So since the area of sector is given, which is 16 pi, so area of sector is 16 pi, and the radius is 8, we can actually first delete pi on both sides. And if you do the calculation, you uh, divide the 64 over and then times the 360, you should get theta as 90 degrees. Okay, so that is the angle of the sector. So this is then 90 degrees actually. Okay, so in part B, since you're now finding the perimeter in terms of pi for the AOB, so AOB, since we know these are the radiuses and this is part of the circumference, so no circumference is 2 pi r, and being part of it is 3 to theta over 360. So theta over 360 times 2 pi r plus 2 r because r plus r is 2 r. And now theta is 90. r is 8. We got it in the pin. Plus 16. To save time. So it's 1 over 4 because 90 it's a quarter of a 360. So 1 over 4 and then 4 is simplified with this 8 here. So 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 pi and 16. Do not add them together. 4 pi is a number and 16 is a number. But they are with... We will take this as a unit in this time. So 4 pi plus 16. Leave 4 pi alone because 4 is multiplying by pi. And then plus it by 16. And the length because it's perimeter. So we have CM. And for the angle, do not forget about the degree.